with most aquifers, and let me define aquifer because there's a lot of misconceptions about that as well. An aquifer is an underground reservoir of water. When you use that term reservoir, people think about underground lakes and rivers and streams, and in most types of aquifers, that doesn't exist. Most of your aquifers are, for instance, south of San Antonio, east of Austin, you have the Carrizo Wilcox Aquifer. You have the Gulf Coast Aquifer along much of, much, much of the Gulf, where your water is stored in the spaces between grains of sand and pieces of silt and clay. And so the water is basically flowing around through these little microscopic spaces, and, and that's the reservoir. In a karst area, a karst aquifer, you actually can have underground rivers and lakes and streams. And, uh, and so I've spent quite a bit of time swimming around in them. Now, if I'm not getting filtered out, then think about things like chemicals, urban runoff, heavy metals, grease, anything coming off your roadways. That's going straight into the aquifer. If the water is going into a sand aquifer, then that sand is a great filter mechanism. It's going to hold back a lot of the contaminants. You know, you'll never catch me swimming around in a sand aquifer. I don't fit. But in a car stock aquifer, I fit down there. And so because of the ease that contaminants can get down into these aquifers, how quickly they can travel, very complicated, extremely complicated flow paths that are very difficult to predict, make these aquifers very difficult uh, to manage and to, uh, and to study as well.